Ever since I moved out of my parents' house and moved into my new place, I haven't had a local Starbucks near me that I'm able to drive through in the morning. So you guys have probably noticed that I haven't been going to Starbucks a lot. So I've been trying out like a bunch of different coffee shops and like local coffee shops, little huts and whatnot on, on the way to the warehouse. And I quickly learned that like real coffee is not Starbucks coffee. I'm trying to adjust. I'm trying to get used to the normal coffee, but it's taken a while. Before we go into the warehouse, he always takes his morning pee. Good job, buddy. For those that are curious on how he's doing as a new shop dog, he's getting a lot better. Because he's so young, we're being very cautious with letting him just be a free range in this shop because he is very curious, as you can see, and he loves to chew on things. And the last thing I want is for him to find a puddle of oil and go start licking it. So until he's fully trained, we're kind of just teaching him how to chill out inside the movie room and just hang out with us throughout the day with like repeated walks. So it being the Monday after SEMA, I need to catch up on some emails and send out some emails just to get back to the companies that I talked to when we started networking with because SEMA, at the end of the day, that's what it is. SEMA is an adult convention for cars. AKA meeting new companies, trying to get sponsors, working with companies and just developing brands. So to stay on top of that before I forget, I'm gonna spend the next like hour or so and just kinda get caught up on emails, send out emails, trying to get back in touch with all the companies that I talked to at SEMA. And I showed up with this on my desk today, which I'm assuming is to me. Looks like someone in the warehouse had a good time with the card. Nice meme. Let's, uh, let's open it and see what it's all about. TJ, thank you so much for being a part of the Movement family for over one year now. We are greatly appreciative of this partnership. And our way to say thanks, we have booked a customized hour helicopter ride around San Diego for you and Sabrina. Flight takes off at 5 p.m. Hope the sunset is epic. What? Keep moving forward, Movement watches. They sent out a watch for Sabrina, which means I think the next one is for your boy. Ooh! I think it's one of their new watches. It's like beveled. It's like rounded. That's fucking dope. Thank you, Movement. That is so cool. Okay, well that's a really cool surprise. I'm gonna text Sabrina and tell her that tonight we have a date on a helicopter. She's in school right now, so I can't quite call her, but this is awesome. That new watch is awesome. We got limited time at the shop, so we're gonna make the best use of our time here and then get ready for tonight. Blue, I wish I could take you, buddy, but I don't think uh, you would do well in a helicopter. In the meanwhile, while TJ is gonna prepare for his helicopter ride, I, found something on Amazon. So you know how this edge trim is like real things, right? This is pretty good, I like this. But it seems that there's an aftermarket, aftermarket part that I bought for 30 bucks for 25 feet. I bought 50 feet and it's sick as fuck. Oh, trim me, trim me pops. A little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger, as TJ said. A little bit bigger. But I like the bigger, bigger cock, you know? <laughs> no, dude. No? 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 Am I the... No? Alright. Oh, doctor me. Oh, doctor me. I have no idea how to portray this. But, I'll put it on my car and then you'll be able to see it. That'd be a better idea. I have a few things to explain. I just put it on the car and I took it off without showing you guys. I apologize for that. But the reason why I totally forgot to show you is because I didn't like it. I didn't like how it looked. The colors aren't right. You better not say shit. Get the... Get... I'm just being a nice man. Get... I was just gonna say hi Get... to the video. Get... Evan. Get your shanks ass up. Get... Um, unfortunately the car is not the right color, so... You can't really see the black on the black. When the car is wrapped, I'll attempt to do it again and then I'll show you guys. But as it stands right now, it's not going to happen. I don't want to embarrass myself and say that my aftermarket, aftermarket, Amazon thing is not something I like. So, hmm. fuck, rip. Just finished my emails and look who finally woke up. And it looks like he's going to go back to sleep now. Blue, I'm going to be in there doing some RX-7 stuff. Are you good to chill here? No. 
And yesterday's video, I kind of left you guys hanging, and I apologize for that, but sometimes I got to. But today, I'm gonna unveil what we were pulling out in the last video. This bumper looks good, looks okay, but what it's missing, you guys notice this big hole right here? What, what was missing right there? Well, today, I'm gonna show you and we're gonna unbox that. Calvin and Emily have a kid now. No, this is not ours. It's a naked mole rat. Congrats, naked guinea pig. It smells like it pooped in there. It smells in general, Cal. Right. Oh, it definitely pooped in there. Oh! You had him poop in the intake hose? You didn't want the intake, did you? I mean, now I don't. Oh, he definitely pooped <laughs> in there. Give that a good smell, Teej. Give that a good smell. You I'm go not smelling smell it. Your poop? Oh, yeah, oh. nope. Oh, he even he doesn't want to <laughs> so go I'm to shake, poop. I'm gonna shake it out. No, no, don't check it out. No, dude, we'll get it out of there. Whoa, on oh. the ground? Oh! So what we have today are Car Shop Glow front bumper lights. Now these lights are from Japan. They are from the same brand who did the tail lights of the car. And again, we got that yellow Japan tape. So these lights are the V1 versions, I believe. There's a V1 version and there's also a V2 version. The V1, if I remember correctly, both of these are white LEDs and the V2s, one of them is white and the other one is orange. I could have them backwards. I ordered these quite a while ago and they finally came in, so forgive me, but I kind of forgot which ones I ordered. But they still look sweet. It's a pretty simple install. All we're gonna do is slip this into the front bumper, put the clips in the back, and it's pretty much plug and play and we should be ready to go. This is literally the easiest install. You wanna shove it in, Calf? Oh, let me just put you in. Let me just put you in real nice and deep like. Let's check that fit, man. Ooh. Wait. All you gotta do is thread. Thread it. And it's actually super simple, which makes this so awesome. Cal, you wanna plug those together real quick, oh, brother? Oh. We'll need to fasten this somewhere. That's so awesome. Oh my God, that looks cool. Excuse the bad camera angle. I have pretty much no way to film this, but once they're in, you just put the nuts on the back and bolt it in. Now, I'm making sure not to over tighten these bolts because it is just going right into the back of the fiberglass. And it probably wouldn't hurt to add washers to the back of this, which is probably what I'll end up doing. But got to be kind of careful because you don't want to damage any of the fiberglass because it will give if you tighten it too much. Fitment on these is great. To my understanding, these lights are only designed around this front bumper. What I mean by that is these bumper lights are different shape than the OEM bumper lights. So one would guess these would only fit with the Ari Amamiya front end. So I think these are designed around this bumper. Wow, that looks really good. From right here, it almost looks like the car is white and has a carbon fiber hood and it almost doesn't look as ugly. And then you come to the side and it looks hideous. But those front bumper lights, I think, make a really big difference and allow the car to see a different, uh, a different light. Kind of transforms it a little bit and gives hope for those who think this RX-7 is gonna be ugly. Because I promise you, it's not. <laughs> You guys already know this, but this battery is shot and completely dead, so we're just gonna borrow some juice in the 350. Damn you, RX-7, and your smoking seals. Woohoo, boy. <laughs> RX-7 
Alright guys, walk around with the motor running. They look so awesome. Really kind of transforms the car a little bit and kind of gives you a sneak peek at to what it's going to look like when everything's ready to go. So, overview so far. Ari Yamamiya headlights, Ari Yamamiya hood, Ari Yamamiya front bumper, car shop glow bumper lights. Then the back, you can't forget, car shop glow. V1 tails, super awesome. I'm going to cut this because this, this sucks and it's filling up the whole entire shop. Goodbye RX-7. Be dead. So we have to call it early at the shop today because in order to make the helicopter flight, we have to be there in like an hour and a half. And since we just had the time zone changing and all that stuff, the sun goes down super early. So that kind of cuts the day like super in half for us. But I'm super hyped. Those lights look really, really good. And it's been like, it's it's been kind of a drag looking at that RX-7 every single day. And I know it looks like nothing's happening to it and we're just like putting cosmetics on, but today was like the first time I kind of like saw the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a very, very long tunnel, but I can, I can like kind of see the end result of this car. Trust me, what I have in store for it, you guys will absolutely love. Okay, so before we go, I'm gonna take one of these nice cameras. I normally shoot with this Sony A7S. It shoots 60 frames per second, a little more than this one. And I can also get slow-mo with this one, isn't that right, Blue? But unfortunately, I lent two of my lenses to two friends and they're both the lenses that I would use for this helicopter. I have a 70 to 200 that is a Canon lens that I normally throw on the A7S that has an adapter, but I gave that to Dustin so he could use it. And it's been like two weeks and I totally forgot that I gave him that lens. So I can't use that. I also have another Sony lens that is 11 to 35. That is really good and I can use that too. But I lent that to my friend Hunter because he used it to shoot Tana Mojo's music video. So what I've come up with is I'm going to use my old Canon and use a 24 to 105 L lens for it. This camera is a little bit lesser quality, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So you may notice it not being as good as that one, but it should still do the job. I really packed this kind of tight. This is a great moment, but it's being ruined because somebody farted and it smells really bad. <laughs> Let's open my present. Ooh, look what I got. Oh, I actually really like this. Okay, so we just got to the helipad. I think they're getting our helicopter ready right now, but it's apparently just me and Sabrina. I know nothing about helicopters, nor, nor do I know anything about helicopters, or do I know what we're gonna be in, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> What's up, dude? Apparently there's a subscriber over there. So I think we're gonna do... What was that? Of course I am. <laughs> so we're gonna be taking one of one of these things. I have no idea which one. Sabrina's like tripping out. She's not the best with turbulence, so it's gonna be pretty funny to see her reaction when she goes on the helicopter. I've only been on a helicopter once, and I was, I was a lot younger, and that was when I was in Hawaii. She's never been on a helicopter. And the weather today is like kind of iffy. The coastline isn't as overcast as it is here, but when it is overcast, that means there's winds, which means there's turbulence. So this should be pretty entertaining. The heights thing, man, it just gets me. So do you guys have any idea where you wanna go? Um, I have no idea. I was gonna- Oh, just take us to the cool spots. Why did he keep the no doors option? So I could film out of it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm gonna be in the front seat because we'll have no door there and that way we can get good clean shots Sabrina will be in the back seat Bless up. <laughs> And then we also have these like headphones and microphones so we can talk to each other while we're in the air, which is pretty awesome Oh, dude, no No, uh, three point, four point harness <laughs> Ooh, getting comfy, baby Oh, it's going up this is pretty cool. Dude. It's not even that bad. It's a little sketch. I'm a little scared. I would be too. <laughs>
was awesome though. That sunset was crazy. Sunset, sunset was awesome. Before I close the night off, got myself a nice Bloody Mary. I'm a Bloody Mary fan for those who don't know. And now, with the addition of today's watch, I will finally have enough movement watches to fill up my watch case. Then I think by far, this is my favorite one. It's just super simple and I really like how like this edge is beveled. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but really like this watch. If you guys do not know, you can actually use the code TJ10 and save yourself 10% off of movement watches. These are a good array of the ones you can get. And what makes them awesome is they are nice quality and cheap for what they are. So huge thank you to Movement Watches for giving me and Sabrina that ride today. It was awesome. I know she really enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun. If you guys have girlfriends, which I'm sure most of you do, Movement just dropped a new women's line as well, which I'm actually loving. It's like a cool braided um, wristband. This is called the Gala. Yeah, they come in many different colors. I like all black, but they're really nice. All right, I'm gonna edit tonight's video, play a little PUBG, maybe stream. I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward. Gotta do it for the video. No. All right, Calvin. No. Imagine I'm Emily. No. Hi. Hi, babe. Hey, Calvin. Hey. Good. Oh, God. I was kidding, man. I was kidding. There is no sippy action going on in this car.